few days ago, President William Ruto announced that Kenya would remove visa requirements for all African visitors by the end of this year. Hours after President Ruto spoke, KRA announced that it was tightening custom rules for arriving passengers. It announced that individuals are allowed to carry personal or household items worth $500, which is approximately 75,000 Kenyan shillings. Anything above the amount shall be subjected to tax. And the policy applies to returning Kenyans, diplomats, foreign students, missionaries, and tourists. Later, KRA dismissed uh, those reports, arguing that they'll tax, they'll tax new goods that are valued $500 and more. And that is according to their AG, David on Twitter. When should we consider that the KRA is serious? They have come out in defense of whatever they said. Every day in Kenya, when we are awake, we do with all the controversies, ranging from one controversy to another. Our economy now, if it is uh, rated with other, world, uh, other countries of its caliber, we are finding that our economy is deteriorating. This therefore has prompted the government to do whatever it takes to stabilize the economy. As from the moment then that Dr. William Ruto, the president, came to power, he had sorted all everything in his power so that it would he could amass wealth for the country. They say Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. But then, is it Caesar who decides what is his, or is, is it the giver who decides what belongs to Caesar? Does the Kenyan Revenue Authority for a look on the effects of the taxation policy they make, or do they just make policies based on what they want to collect from Kenyans? You mean to tell me that if someone travels out of the country with his or her $1,000 phone, or $1,500, notebook, they will pay taxes when they land back in Kenya. Is this a, fraud, a fraudulent slip? We cannot say. But from the look of things, it seems this way. The KRA is going ahead and going far much ahead of the Kenyan thinking. It is just one year since the, the government <coughs> assumes the office. We have seen policies being made in order to see the, Kenya, the Kenya's revenue is increasing. To us, as Kenyans, there is no any other way that we could be convinced that they, they are doing the right thing, even if it was. The issue of concern here is, is it not by law that KRA officers are permitted to examine passengers, luggages, and conduct body search whenever necessary? We realize that uh, people have uh, expensive gadgets and maybe personal items, household uh, items. Someone may have maybe a phone that may, might cost more than that 500 US dollars. And uh, if they are taxing each and everything, if they are accounting for everything that is there, if they are um, maybe they are planning on calculating every coin that someone has used, you realize that someone will be paying for double taxes. Well, you realize that you, you pay for taxes when you're buying something, then you pay again when you're entering in your own country. People claim that they have traveled for a long distance, maybe they are very tired, then when they arrive in their own country, they come here and realize that they are told to, to make queues and maybe stay there for a very long time, they're not given enough time to rest, and maybe these officers, the KRA officers, are harassing them. Every now and then, reports from the KRA, they always complain of how the taxmen handle them. At times, your privacy is being breached, because how come you come with your luggages? Then somebody comes and uh, they remove everything from the bag, Checking whether you carried the camera, whether you carried the sound recorder, whether you carried an electronic device with, 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 with all of those sorts. Just Mutua, 
the cabinet secretary for tourism also lamented about this when he said that the South African travelers are not being harassed, the Rwandan travelers are not being harassed, and now comes in Kenya, they are being harassed. Millions of comments that came and which were shared on social media, they are genuine and they make sense. At the same time, the reasons that might have prompted the government or the taxman to bring such suggestions could also be, uh, could also be making sense. Why am I saying so? Because it has ever been reported that there are many businessmen who are evading tax by assumption, assuming that the goods they are coming with are personal luggages. But in the real sense, they are importing goods for sale and they don't want to pay tax. The problem that comes in is how are these tax that are being collected used where the taxes spent on projects and developments that they were meant for. That will be a matter that of course must be looked into because the star that we saw on social media the, this week clearly tells one that Kenyan citizens feel like they are being taxed burdened because they are being taxed and unfortunately they don't see the outcome of their taxes. Don't forget that us as a country we have a loan, several of loans that some are to mature at the beginning of the next year. We need to repay them and there is no money. That one should not be an excuse to threaten passengers or harass travelers including their privacy. The most ideal way to make government officials think constructively is to have them live like the common man. Let a bill get passed to hard cap the earnings of anyone serving in government to the average salary of a citizen. Trying to curb corruption, embezzlement and mismanagement of funds will be better. And yet we have not seen our government do anything. People might change their minds based on uh, coming to our country as tourists. We are entering December holiday, which is the peak of tourism season. If I am a tourist, I might have expensive uh, equipment or maybe gadgets, and I'll be coming to Kenya to spend money. And again, I'm told to pay more money for me to enter into the country. International students visiting Kenya for their studies in University X shall eject money to the economy through housing, feeding, school fees, the entertainment, hotels and restaurants get their lion's share of their profit or turnover from the tourists who come to Kenya from other countries. They, are, they will count process. Also, the cabman who drives the tourists around in various destinations will get process. And also, a Madafu vendor somewhere in Watamu shall also reduce his or her sales. This will be the long and sure way. The taxman is playing a great game where the results are obvious. KRA, do we take the short and sure way or the long sure way? We shouldn't be worrying why the number of tourists decreased in the country. Kenya is not the only destination to travel to. And maybe that's why foreign investors are already to Tanzania. We cannot stand in defense of everything that is vile. We cannot say, say that. Taxing someone punitively just means that he doesn't want that person. In the government, there is interdependence. The government depends on the citizens, and the citizens depends on the government. The two are interdependent, and one cannot work without the other. The government should look ways of how to impose their policies not on the social media pages. We know very well our official communication from the, the government parastatals and the government offices should communicate. We should not rely on just tax alone. The tax collected should reflect on what the commoner will see. As country, we cannot survive on loans. We, we, we as well cannot 
afford our major institutions being taken over by the lending institutions. I feel it okay to government to do, uh, for the government to do whatever it takes so that sheep would collect taxes and make things run. If KRA really wants to collect more taxes, there are other avenues that KRA should look for. For example, ensuring people who own houses and buildings pay the 10% tax on rent. If there is a way of detecting the genuine travelers from business persons, then it will be more easier for the Kenya Revenue Authority officers on doing their job. The manner in which this is done should be looked into. Policies should be put in place to ensure that the, the processes are undertaken in professional way. Taxes must be simple, predictable, and reasonable. Let's not lose a fall going for a while. Let's look at the bigger picture.